incoming message. Let's talk about something that we tend to overlook, but that is absolutely essential, and that is effective listening. Did you hear that? So much of the miscommunication, frustration, and even conflict in our daily lives comes down to the fact that we have forgotten how to really listen. We hear the words people say, but are we truly listening to understand, or are we just waiting for our turn to speak? Here's the thing. Effective listening, it's a skill. And like any skill, it requires practice and intention. Most of us listen with the goal of responding rather than understanding, and that is where the disconnection happens. So if we want to become a master at listening, there are a few key things to consider. First, listen with the intent to understand, not just reply. Now, this is a big one. Most of the time when someone else is speaking, we are already formulating our response in our heads. We're waiting for that pause in the conversation to jump in and give our opinions. But effective listening means quieting that inner dialogue and focusing entirely on the other person's words, tone, and body language. Try to absorb what they are saying without thinking about what you are going to say next. Second, be fully present. In today's world, distractions are everywhere. Phones, notifications, or even our wandering thoughts. If we're not mentally and emotionally present when someone is speaking to us, they can feel that, can't you? The conversation becomes shallow and meaningful communication does not happen. So make eye contact, put away those distractions, and give the speaker your full attention. It's not going to kill you, I promise. When we do, the other person feels heard and valued and the conversation becomes deeper and more effective. Another key to effective listening is asking clarifying questions. If we are not sure that we fully understand what someone is saying, don't assume. Ask something like, so what I'm hearing you say is, or can you explain what you meant by that? This shows the speaker that you care about getting it right. And this not only helps you understand better, but it also gives the other person a chance to express themselves more clearly. Next, listen for the emotion behind the words. People don't always say exactly what they mean, especially when emotions are involved. Sometimes the real message lies beneath the surface of what is actually being said. So pay attention to tone, body language, and facial expressions. Are they frustrated? Are they excited? Are they anxious? By tuning into these emotional cues, we can respond with more empathy and understanding. And finally, resist Resist the urge to fix. One of the biggest barriers to effective listening is the instinct to jump in and offer solutions. Now, while well-intentioned, this can shut down the conversation. Sometimes people just need to vent, to feel heard and understood, not to be fixed. So instead of offering advice or a quick solution, try responding with empathy. That sounds really tough. Or I can see why you feel that way. Giving people the space to express themselves without a immediately trying to solve their problems can go a long way in building trust and deeper connections. In a world where so many of us feel unheard and misunderstood, learning to listen effectively, it's a game changer. When we master the art of listening, our relationships improve, our communication becomes clearer, and we create more meaningful connections. And who does not want that? So the next time someone is speaking to you, remember, listen to understand, be fully present, and don't rush to respond. Your ability to truly listen, it just might change everything.